through this real quick. Objections. Okay, let's just go through this, and I want you to see this for price. Let's go live. Me and you. All right, so if I'm saying to you that I want the best price, what do you say? Um, I mean, just that if I wasn't going to get you the best price, that I wouldn't expect from your business. Okay. We're very competitive on the internet. Well, that sounds perfect. You seem like really like an honest person, and that makes sense, but what would the best price be? But you just said it's very hard to get a damn manager, get a TO. So what, what's the what? So tell, work me through this. I'm trying to show them what what the, what the holdup is. The situation is this: she's got limited word tracks to be able to respond for price. A lot of people, at super are sh price shoppers on the internet. I know that everybody knows that. So if you get into that situation and you need to TO, but there's no TO asset available, and which is what both girls are saying. So then what happens to it? Does it just sit there? Do you put on hold? Do you try to, do you come up with your own price? We can do like the reference range that you talk about too. We kind of narrow down what they want. Like if they want a sunroof, a saw, you know, they want the whatever with appearance package or they want da, 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 you know. But let's go with that. So are you figuring out that what that reference price is? Yeah, I mean, I can give them a reference range, but then they still may want to know, like, okay, well, so-and-so gave me a price for this. So I'll call them off or whatever else, like whoever says that they can give me it for this. You know, I mean... You meet, beat, match prices, da da da. But sometimes people don't want that. They want to know what their price is. Going Agreed. To be. And then if you can't give them the price, what happens? They get pissed off. I would say they get really. I mean, I, I guess I just have to get a price, or I mean, I get off from my desk and I put them on hold and I get a price or do the best I can or tell them to call this person or that's what I do. Here's the thing that I think that should happen. And again, I'm using your guy that you like a lot of the other trainer that we discussed before but there's there's a million different closes there's a million different at least 10 20 different things you could say you know for the coordinators how many responses do you have for price do you know off the well, top of your head i mean we have um, you know you can get creative with it i mean but how you know, many how many subtle, responses do you have there's yourself like three that in you use categories well i mean you know you have your if we don't give you the best price or i totally understand with you do the feel you know the emotional one or you you can kind of relate and then we have reference range, and then, well, I mean, we got to give them a price if that's what they really want. We don't want to lose a customer because they are hounding price, 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 and your rebuttals and your reference range aren't what they There's want. two different things that I'm saying here. With Dealer Synergy, we provided seven different rebuttals for price, seven different responses for price, but we've also trained you that we suggest you only use three. Mm -hmm. We only we basically say the first one is a rebuttal, second one is a range, and the third one is a TO. Mm -hmm. So you're 100% correct. It's, it's a rebuttal, it's a range, and it's a TO. But even for that to happen, you should know, all the coordinators should know, the top seven or the most powerful seven responses. That way you have a diversified library of responses for price. You've really got to prepare for it. I mean, like if you were, I don't know, if any of you were like professional fighters and you, you, know, you, you know what to do if somebody's going to punch, not only just duck, how to counter, how to get out of the way. How, I mean, you've got to know what to do if something happens. If, if you're going to get a lot... What's the best price? Can you beat this price? You should be practicing and drilling responses for price or price shoppers. You should almost have, like, you know what's crazy? My, my kid is, I told you, we have a 12-year-old and a 15-year-old and a 5-year-old. And the, uh, the kids that were in middle school, they, they have fire drills. Then they have safety drills. They've got live shooter drills now, which is sad. But my, in my kid's school, their drill what to do if somebody comes in with an automatic weapon and decides to do something crazy. The reason why I'm referencing is that it's better to be prepared and practice than to get caught off guard. You all agree? So again, I think that you should have not only a real strong arsenal of the rebuttals, but you should also, in my opinion, have a real strong system for how to TO and when to TO, and have obviously, you know, one through five, like uh, not, maybe not little, maybe one through three, one through four. If you have a, an instant TO person, they're not available, they're on the lot, you, or somebody's on a test drive, the manager's off, who is your next person? And if they're not available, who's your next person? If they're not available, who's your next person? What you shouldn't do, this actually, I'm really, really impressed with your, with your team. You know, the fact that they care so much, they're trying so much, they're taking all this excess stuff onto their own shoulders. That's that's a compliment. That's really a genuine compliment. I don't like a back-end one either. You know, that's really good. But you shouldn't do that. It's it, You know, they shouldn't be forced to do that. Because if they can't get it, you're setting them up for failure. That That's the reality. You're setting them up for failure. 
So what I want you to be able to do is 